Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x plus xy plus y, this is equal to 98. Given that x and y, these are members of positive integers, and that x is greater than 0, and y is greater than 0. Now, what is the value of x, and what is the value of y? So let's prevent a solution here. So we have x plus x, y plus y. This is equal to 98. So you can see that from the first part here, x and x is common. But now here, we have only y. So how do we manipulate this so that we can be able to factor out? So that we have here x plus x, y plus. Now here, we can have y then this is equal to 98 now since x is common here we can factor out x so that here we have 1 plus y plus y this is equal to 98 so now to factor out here here we have 1 plus y so also we can introduce we can add one here we add one on both sides so that on the right hand side will have plus 1. So here we have x into the parentheses. This is the same thing as y plus 1. Then plus, here we have y plus 1. This is equal to 99. So now here we have, this is the same thing as x plus 1. 1 is common here. And then we have that, here we have y plus 1. This is equal to 99. So the next step is that we need to get the prime factors of 99. But now we have that x plus 1. These are actually positive integers such that x starts from 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way to positive infinity. And then we have that y plus 1 is all the same thing. That's y plus 1. This starts from 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way to positive infinity. Now, from here, this follows that x plus 1 cannot be equal to 1. The same case to y plus 1 cannot be equal to 1. So this is a very important condition that we need to that we need to use. So now given this condition, then we have x plus 1, y plus 1. This is equal to 99. So let's get the prime factors of 99. What you can multiply to get 99. So we have 1 times 99. We have 99 times 1. So 99 times 1, we have 3 times 33. We have 33 times 3. Then we have 11 times 9. We also have 9 times 11. Yes, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But now we have that the condition that x plus 1, this can never be equal to 1. And y plus 1 is not equal to 1. So this implies that from these prime factors here, so this is rejected. And also this is rejected. So we only have four cases here. So this is the first case. This is the second case. This is the third case. And the fourth case. So we have four cases here we have case one case one we have x plus one y plus one this is equal to three times 33 so this implies that x plus one this is equal to three and y plus one this is equal to 33 so this implies that x here is equal to 
3 minus 1 which is equal to 2. And here y will be equal to 33 minus 1 which is 32. So x comma y in case 1, this is equal to 2 and that 2. So this is the first solution in case 1. Let's proceed to case 2 here. Case 2, we have x plus 1, y plus 1. This is equal to 33 times 3. So this, is, this means that case 2 here, we have x plus 1, y plus 1. This is equal to 33 times 3. So x plus 1, this is equal to 33. And y plus 1, this is equal to 3. So from here, we have that x will be equal to 33, subtract 1, and this implies that x is equal to 32. Here we have y will be equal to 3 minus, that, that is 3 minus 1, this is equal to 2. So in case 2, we have that x, comma y, this is equal to 32 and 2. So this is the second set of solution that you have. So let's proceed to case 3 here. So in case 3, we have that x plus 1, y plus 1. This is equal to 11 times 9. Okay. So this is what we have as case 3 here. So that now we have that x plus 1. This is equal to 11, and y plus 1, this is equal to 9. So from here, this implies that x will be equal to 11 minus 1, and this is equal to 10. y here will be equal to 9 minus 1, and this is equal to 8. So this implies that x, comma y, this is equal to 10 and 8. So this is the solution for case 3. So let's proceed to case 4. Let's proceed to case 4. So case 4 we have x plus 1. We have y plus 1. This is equal to 9 times 11. So in this case, we have x plus 1, this is equal to 9. And we have y plus 1, this is equal to 11. So from here, we have that x will be equal to 9 minus 1. And this is equal to 8. And here, we'll have y will be equal to 11 minus 1. And this is equal to 10. So in case 4, this implies that x, y, this will be equal to 8 and 10. So this is the fourth set of solution that we have. And therefore, the solution to this algebra problem, that is x, y, this will be equal to, these are the set of solution. We have case 1, 2, that 2. We have case 2, which is 32, comma 2. Then we have case 3, which is 10 and 8. And we have case 4, which is 8, comma 10. So actually, these are the set of solution for x and y for this algebra problem. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and please subscribe like this video and subscribe thank you so much for watching see you in the next video bye bye